Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today, we're going to talk about the broken macro button. If you've tried to make that duplicate record macro button, uh, it's broken. It's not working anymore for some people, not for everybody. We'll talk about why in just a minute and how to fix it. Today's question comes from Lee in Pflugerville, Texas, one of my gold members. Lee says, I'm following along with your video from three years ago about creating a duplicate record button using the button wizard in Microsoft Access. However, when I try it now, I get an error saying the commander action paste isn't available now. Did something change or am I missing something? Well, this is a known problem that's been going back to at least 2014. I Google searched this and yeah, people have been having problems with it on and off. It especially seems to not work on Windows 11. So a few years ago when I did my previous video, which is this guy, I walked you through exactly how to create this button and it worked just fine. I was probably using Windows 10 back then because I just upgraded not too long ago. But now that I've upgraded my systems to Windows 11, it's broken for me now too. And I just did a Windows update on one of my laptops just to see and I did an Office update too and it's still broken. So it's a problem, Microsoft needs to fix this. but. Let me walk you through the problem and then I'll, I'll teach you how to solve it. That's what you got me for, right? I'll teach you how to fix these things. So first of all, if you haven't watched this video, go watch it first. And second of all, even though I do have this tagged as a beginner video because the original one was beginner, this will require one line of VBA code to fix it, but you don't need to know VBA. I'm just, I'm going to show you exactly where to put the line of VBA code and someone's beaming in. All right, so don't panic. You don't need to be a VBA developer to do this, but you're going to have to put one line of VBA code in a spot. I'll teach you how to do that in just a second. All right, so here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can grab a copy off my website if you want to. Let's go to the customer form. I'm going to right click, go to design view, and let's add the duplicate record button here. So it's under form design. Go to the command buttons, drop it down here. It's under record operations, duplicate record. Next. Uh, text is fine. Whatever you want to put in there doesn't matter. Command 30. Let's call this duplicate record button BTN and then hit finish. All right. There's our duplicate record button right there. Save it, close it, open it, click it. You get that error message. The commander paste isn't available now. All right. What happens is when you create this button, the macro wizard, or excuse me, the button wizard makes a macro. You can see it by right clicking on it and going to build event. The macro editor opens up. Now, I'm not a big fan of the macro editor. I don't use it a lot. I'm going to turn off this action catalog over here. And you can see here's the steps that it takes, right? First is an, is an error handler. If there's an error, go to the next line, right? And then it says macro command copy, all right? Mac, uh, then it's run command, go to a new record, okay? Then it's select the record and then paste. And this is just more error handling down here. The problem is it's a timing issue on your computer and Windows 10 didn't seem to have this timing issue. Windows 11 does. Basically, it's not going to the new record fast enough before there's a paste. And that's why it's saying paste isn't available yet. It's just a difference in the way that Windows 11 handles the event timing. So what we have to do is introduce a tiny little pause in there before it tries to paste. And we can use one command to do that. I'm going to show you how. But first, we're going to convert this macro over to VBA code. And there's an automatic way to do it. We're going to go up to form design. Actually, I'm going to warn you first before we do this. Back up your database first. All right. Back up, back up, and back up again. You should have an automated nightly backup. Back everything up. Okay. And specifically, before we do this, I want to back up this form too. Whenever I know I'm going to make a major change to a form, I back up just that form. So here's my customer form. I'm going to go copy, paste, control C, control V. And I like to call it customer F dash backup. I know it violates my naming rules, but we're never going to use this in code or anything. We're never going to refer to this. It's just a backup to have in the database just in case. So if I, if I mess this guy up, I got this copy sitting right next to it. And I don't call it copy of that way. It sits right next to this one. All right, so we backed up our form. We're good. Now we're going to go back into the form, go back to form design. All right, on the form design tab, there's a little button over there. It says convert forms macros to Visual Basic. Now this is going to take all of the macros in this form. If you have more of them, it'll convert all of them over to Visual Basic. So click on that. Okay, these options are fine. If you want to leave them on off, doesn't really matter. 
and then hit convert. What that's going to do is it's going to convert all the macro code to VB. Okay, now if you right click on that button and go to build event, it brings up this scary looking thing. Don't worry about it. It's, it's not scary. This is the Visual Basic Editor. And if you do want to learn more about VBA, go watch this video. It's free. It's 20 minutes long. It'll teach you everything you need to know to program in VBA to get started. All right, but you don't have to. I'm going to show you what to do right now. I know a lot of people have told me, hey, I love access. I love building stuff. I just don't want to be a programmer. That's fine. We're going to turn off this template. If you see this, if you see this pane over here, just close that. Okay, and I'm going to resize my window just a little bit. There we go. All right, so right here, you can see where the cursor is. We're inside the duplicate record button click. This was the, the button code. This was a macro, and now it's button code, or now it's VBA code, okay? And these are all the same commands that you had in the macro. What I want you to find is this one here. This is AC command paste. This is where we have to add the delay right in front of that. So click right at the beginning of that line, press enter. Okay, come back up to that spot there and you're gonna type this in. Do events, that's one word. Do events, just like that. Okay, and then when you move your mouse off it, it should capitalize the D and the E, do events. Okay, now save it, control S, we're gonna save that. We're gonna close the Visual Basic Editor window. Close this. Now go back into your form and hit duplicate record. Boom, and there it goes, it works. See, we're on record 34 now. It's, it's literally just that little tiny timing issue, and there is no way to insert that pause or a do events command as a macro. That's another thing, Sammy, we should put on the list for Microsoft. Why is there no way to do a do events in a macro? I tried, I tried a bunch of different commands. You can't refresh it, you can't insert a beep, there's no way to insert that tiny little pause there. In fact, they should have a command in the macro editor to insert an actual sleep command. Like you want to, you know, a half second or a full second sleep to pause the macro. That should be in the editor. Put that on the list. <laughs> Sammy and I have a whole big giant list of stuff to give to Microsoft. Hopefully I'll see someone at the MVP conference in, in March and I'll be able to hand it to him and say, here, fix this stuff. Now, there's another problem that exists at this point, but it's it, it's going to happen even if the button works the other way, is that some of these fields in here, like this email address, are indexed. I have an index, no duplicate. So if I try to leave the record now or close the form, it says you can't do it because you got duplicate values in the index primary key or relationship because I've got email address set as, du as index, no duplicates. And that is because in my database, I don't want two people with the same email address. Everyone's got to have their own unique email address. If you want to learn more about that, go watch this video. All right, so essentially what you'd have to do at this point is just either delete the email address put, or put a different one in or something, okay? Now, there are options to copy the record and only copy specific fields. And I actually cover that in the extended cut for, this, for my original duplicate record video. So members, you can go watch that and I'll show you how to copy it except for certain fields like the email address. And also two other courses that, that I can recommend that have things related to this. In Access Developer 24, I copy another very popular question. How do you copy orders with their details? So how do you copy a record with all of its related records? So if you want to make a copy of an invoice, for example, or you want to take a quotation and turn it into an invoice, but you want to leave the original quotation. Well, this lesson will teach you how to copy the order and all of the related details at the same time. And yes, that does require some VBA code. And I also just yesterday, in fact, released this one, Access Developer 48, where we create what I call a table agnostic copy routine. It's a function that you can say, here, here's the table, here's the record or records that I want to copy, make a copy of them, and it will just skip over anything that's indexed, no duplicates. So that's a great one, too, because normally you have to specify the list of file or fields. You know, all right, I want to copy first name, last name, email, phone. Well, this one just says copy everything except the fields that you can't. So that's an Access Developer 48. But like I've always said, you don't have to have VBA programming knowledge to build great Microsoft Access databases. You can do a lot with just what's built into it, including the macros. But every now and then one of the macros, one of the buttons throws up an error like this and doesn't work. So that's that's not that's not on you, Lee. It's not on it's not your fault. This stopped working when it worked before. And if you Google this problem, you'll see lots and lots of people complaining about it. So here's the video. And that, my friends, is going to be your tech help video for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our Diamond sponsors. Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions. 
manufacturing expert specializing in Access and SQL Server, Sammy Shama with Shama Consultancy, a certified Microsoft Access expert who offers personalized one-on-one -on -one tutoring, and Amanda Nicole Consulting specializing in helping businesses move from complex Excel sheets to an Access database. You'll find links to the Diamond sponsors in the description down below the video. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the video's up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming as long as you keep watching them I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing. Free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay. Want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my access forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, 
plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.